Around the world, entrepreneurs are developing ideas that can help farmers and improve farming capabilities. One company in particular, the Climate Corporation, is focused on increasing the sustainability and productivity of farming operations using innovative technologies, data science capability, and other tools. Today, I'm joined by President and Chief Operating Officer, Michael Stern. Hi, Mike. Thanks for connecting with us. Good morning, Phil. Glad to be here. So tell me, how was the Climate Corporation initiated and what's its mission? Well, the Climate Corporation started, uh, founder David Freeberg, uh, recognized six or seven years ago that there were many businesses out there that were affected by weather, whether that be rental of bikes or golf courses or ski resorts. And him and a few other folks got together and began to work on uh, algorithms that might help these businesses do a better job of predicting and understanding how weather events affect their business. What David and the team found quickly was that, yes, these technologies could work, but those the businesses were too small. There, was, there weren't enough bike shops and even golf courses in the, in the U.S. To, to make the business viable, and they quickly turned their attention to agriculture, recognizing that weather is one of the largest variables a grower has to deal with every year. And what we're focused on is using data science and software engineering in order to develop algorithms that help growers make informed decisions. Decisions about their farms that are not generated on intuition, but in fact on data to help drive productivity and profitability. Now, Mike, also, um, you've told me in the past that the value isn't in the data itself, but the insights from that data. Talk to me a little bit about that. I believe we're on the verge of a third great wave of transition in agriculture, and I call that digital agriculture. And what's driving that is the digitization of the farm. Let me give you a, a quick example. Uh, today, through satellite imagery and a variety of other technologies, a grower can generate around seven gigabytes of data per acre on their farm. Ten years ago, it cost a grower about $300,000 to just store that data. Today, it will cost about 28 cents, and that's quickly going to zero. So my point is, is that farming and the information infrastructure um, driven by sensors, telephones, iPads, free storage, all the things that are going on in, a, in the revolution around consumer electronics, in fact, are driving the digitization of the farm. As we're really seeing a lot of, of differences taking place in water temperature with the oceans, with hurricanes, with all of those things. And we know that you're now acquiring other tech startups who are working on solutions such as 640 Labs. Why do you think it's important to really continue to seek out these innovative ideas and, frankly, to support the innovative startups with the cash they need? Our philosophy is, look, there are some great companies out there with great ideas of starting up. And we don't have a, 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 the NIH syndrome, which is not invented here. We're looking to find what are the great innovative technologies that we can bring into climate that can help us drive productivity for farmers and help farmers make better decisions in a proactive way on their farm. 640 Labs is a great example. About 12 folks in, um, started in uh, the loop in Chicago, software engineers that um, we're really working on how can we move data around. So what 640 Labs has developed is a very small device that can plug into virtually any uh, agricultural uh, implement like a tractor or a combine or a sprayer and through GPS and Bluetooth technology can instantaneously transmit the data that is being generated on that field into a cloud, in this case, the climate cloud with the grower's consent, of course, um, and now all that information in real time can be visualized in the cab of that, of, of that planter or tractor or combine, as well as reside in the grower's climate account, which then feeds into our models. I've been in agriculture now for 25 years, and I don't think I've ever seen a situation where uh, growers are more interested and even demanding these technologies come to the farm. So it, it's an incredibly exciting time to be in agriculture, it's incredibly exciting to be at the Climate Corporation where we feel we're at the epicenter of, the, uh, of this digital ag revolution 
And it's all about helping growers become more productive, farm in a more sustainable way. And of course, we need that as we as we see, um, you know, a growing population uh, decreasing in arable land um, in a world that is increasingly hungrier and thirstier. Mike, thanks for joining us, and thanks for the innovation that the Climate Corporation is bringing us. Phil, pleasure to be here, and thank you. Thanks for checking out this week's innovation video, sponsored by Tetra Pak. Subscribe to The Lemper Report to watch more videos just like this. Also, visit supermarketguru.com 